Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. These raw videos are from a photo walk on August 25, 2016 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that's in the United States. The walk was in my North Carolina Creekside Nature Preserve. The 30 second nature video we create today is of harlequin ladybirds mating. The adult harlequin ladybird usually lives for about a year and is reproductively active for about three months of that year. They can copulate like this for two or more hours at a time. Males and females have key sex parts, so different species don't fit together. When not having sex, just about the only way to tell a female from a male is to autopsy them. When copulating like this, the male is the one on the top. Each female harlequin ladybird can produce about 1,000 to 2,000 eggs in its lifetime, laying them in batches of about 10 to 30 per day. And the eggs are oval shaped and are pale yellow when laid, later turning darker yellow before coming gray black just before hatching. Let's take a look today and uh, see how we're going to put together a 30 second video with Final Cut Pro X on a Mac. The goal here is to give you all a chance to really observe the nature and to learn something at the same time. In this case, it's video production on a Mac and uh, how to go about the process of creating videos on a Mac and using the software and getting some tips along the way to more efficiently and quickly use the software. When we start out with uh, our raw video clip here it shows up in a browser window that's what you see over here in the top left corner. I've selected this video clip today by searching for the actual name or ID of the video clip as it comes right out of the camera having looked at these and recorded that before so that separates out all the other videos and just shows me the video that I want to work with in my browser in my browser I can take the video clips and group them by content created so I'm grouping them right now by date and there's only one clip that we're looking at and I can sort them by ascending or descending in the video content uh, but I can also take and stretch out that clip so that um, it fills up more of the browser and that gives me a smoother uh, scrubbing through so that I can see a little better on a longer clip um, what I've really got. It's not all compressed and harder to scrub through. And uh, the first process is it's a two and a half minute clip just about. And uh, we've got to try to figure out a 30 second segment. Uh, and as you know I like really slowing down the action sometimes and seeing in detail what's happening in that 30 seconds so I'm a, um, a fan of really slowing down the process and really being able to take time to absorb what's really going on in the action that's occurring so let's take right at the beginning here the camera is searching uh, the tripods being set up the cameras basically being pointed and the 
allowed to focus and that's where you see the gross movements there but right at that point let's create an in here in my raw video and let's find a segment right after some of the movement there and create that as an out we're going to drag that down to our timeline and now we've got uh, about a 16 second video clip here and let's just uh, see that now there's there's not much audio to speak of on this video clip but uh, what is there uh, maybe a uh, truck <laughs> breaks or something like that uh, so we're going to take and just turn that video off of that or the audio off of that video clip and uh, then we want to take and we want to expand this out to our uh, 30 seconds here and we can do that with the duration adjustment here now we have a very stable photo it was on a tripod the wind was not blowing at all so basically uh, we have a, a stable photograph that we don't have to worry about uh, doing any stabilization with the photo uh, with, with a video like we do sometimes but we do have an improperly composed photograph there's there's more of nothing to the left than to the right and we're we're not exactly cropped in as far as we could be to allow you to see really what's going on so we're going to select the whole thing here and come over here to our crop and we're going to collect uh, select the Ken Burns here and I think what I want to do today is start the video uh, cropped and properly composed here and uh, we can end the 30 second videos being uh, better composed and a little less cropped now when we do this we don't want to move the crop lines past our video or we end up getting a bar in our video so we want to keep it in the video portion and we want to get it so that we think it's going to be pretty well centered and you can see we have some control over where we put it okay I'm gonna select done and let's take a look at our Ken Burns effect and see how that looks so we have a better composed photograph with the subjects in the middle and ever so slightly we're zooming out panning out zooming out all right now um, I think we've got that but I'm, I'm really not happy with the amount of uh, non-action that occurs in the last <laughs> 10 seconds of the video and so I'm going to uh, try to grab the end of this video and really scrub off you can see on the the video preview on the right here when when the action stops so that's leaving us more with a 12 second video but let's go back to custom and let's let's make that again or turn that 12 seconds into 30 here and that's going to have the effect of really slowing down the action and just showing us uh, the action here in this case some reason we didn't really 
accomplished our 30 second goal it looks like let's try this again I don't know if I didn't really finish that 30 seconds there we go that's what we wanted to happen now let's take a look and see what we're really working with here we've got a properly composed video in that it's uh, centered ever so slightly we're zooming out and I think we've managed to uh, get a segment um, where we can see the action and uh, alright now with Final Cut Pro we can put uh, what they call uh, dissolves or transitions in and uh, I like putting a uh, transition in at the end that's a dissolve to black so that as we look at the video it just uh, dissolves to black and I think we have our 30 second nature video <laughs>